Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make eggnog. Yes guys, homemade eggnog. I mean, you can only get it once or twice a year from November through December, maybe in January. But if you know how to make your own eggnog from scratch, you can have eggnog any time of the year that you want. And if you want to learn just how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, Easy, simple, made from scratch. Take a second and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on that notification bell and set it to all so you'll always get my recipes every time I upload one. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, we are back. Let's go over our ingredients. You're going to need egg yolks. Now remember, I will have the exact recipe, measurements, ingredients, and how we do it in the description. So don't worry about the amounts that I'm using. Just follow along so you'll know how to make it. We have separated eggs. You need egg yolks, sugar, heavy cream, milk, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, salt. You'll need a pitcher of some sort, a big glass or whatever to put it in because you will have to put it in the refrigerator. Now I'm not making a lot, so I'm going to only be making a very small amount. So you don't need a large uh, pitcher, but if you want to double or even triple the recipe, that's easy to do as well. Okay, let's get started. You'll need a hand whisk or an electric mixer with a whisking attachment. Okay, let's get our eggnog made. Okay, so it doesn't take much to make eggnog. First thing you wanna do is take your sugar and whisk it together with your egg yolks until they are light and creamy. Okay, we have nice, light, and creamy egg yolks. Now we want a medium saucepan and we're going to add in our heavy cream, our milk, And at this point, this is where you want to add in your nutmeg. I am actually adding in cinnamon in mine personally because I personally don't care for nutmeg. But you want to use nutmeg or you can use cinnamon as I am doing. And just a pinch of salt. Now you want to stir this mixture up until it comes to a bare cinnamon. A bear cinnamon, a bear simmer. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let this come up to a simmer and we'll be back. Okay, we are pretty much at a simmer. You do not want it to boil. You just want it to come up to a nice simmer. So if you guys can see that, we are there. So we're gonna remove this from the heat so that we can temper our eggs. So in order to have these eggs not be scrambled, we have to do what's called temper them, meaning we have to slowly add in our hot liquid to our eggs, whisking as we go along so that they won't turn into scrambled eggs. Typically, you wanna do this by the spoonfuls, but I do it all the time. So I'm just gonna take my measuring cup and I'm just gonna pour a little bit in and a little bit in and a little bit in until it's all there. Then we'll go on to the next step. that our mixture has been combined, you want to pour it back into your saucepan. And you just want to continue to stir for a few minutes until it starts to thicken. Okay, now that we have thickened, we're going to now add in our vanilla. Stir that in. Now you pour your eggnog into whatever pitcher or container you are using. You want to cover it with some saran wrap at the top, unless it has a top to it. 
and put it in the refrigerator until it cools. It will thicken as it cools. That's going to be about two to three hours. So we're gonna get ours poured, covered, and we'll be back when it's all thickened. thickened up so we just want to take that off and as you can see I have my rimmed glasses and if you want to know how I did this and what the recipe is for this go ahead go on over to cooking at Place.com and sign up for the free email list with the exclusive recipes so we just want to go ahead and pour some in each glass Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. I'm gonna bring you guys up close in a second. Okay, look at the rim, look at the rim. Isn't that looking delicious? Okay, I will see you guys next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.